What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. So we're taking a look at Starfield here running on the ROG Ally and I really kind of wanted to put this through its paces and try it out a bit. So we will have some 720p, 900p and 1080p along with some 15, 20, 25 and 30 watts to take a look at. And we'll talk about all that more as we get into the video. As far as the settings go, those will stay consistent throughout the video. The only thing that will change is our resolution and our wattage. So we will have dynamic resolution turned on with a render scale of 80%, just like over on the Steam Deck. All low settings with motion blur off, vSync off, FSR2 is on at 55%. VRS is actually off for this, film grains all the way down, and depth of field is turned off as well. And this will be my baseline settings throughout the video and much like i said over on the steam deck i'm actually surprised at how good the game looks on low settings it's kind of rare especially with all the upscaling and things like that going on here and, and dynamic resolution for it to actually technically look as clean and run as well as it does so i'm pretty happy with that i went through and took a look at a lot of different areas in the game we're set at four gigabytes on our vram for me on this it worked pretty well and if you want to try the 900p you're gonna to have to add that to your rog ally there's plenty of videos out there if you go search rog ally 900p on google or youtube i haven't made a guide for that just yet now i do want to use this uh, kind of starting mission area we're going to do some comparisons here first to get started and as a side note i did want to mention that you can play this game in third person as well there's two different views besides the first person and depending on where you're at in the game or if you're in combat and that type of thing i've seen anywhere from one to three fps difference with first person view giving better fps of course so just something to keep in mind if you're trying to squeeze every little bit out and um, you're looking at that so just something I wanted to make a side note of there. Now getting into comparison, sorry my charts aren't the same size or my overlay, but it was giving me a heck of a time for some reason with the resizing for each resolution. We can see here at 15 watts for our 720, 900, and 1080 what our performance is like just sitting still here. And we'll go ahead and bump things up to 20 watts, which of course will do even better at 45, 39, and 32 on our FPS. Something else to look out for as well, there's going to be times that like the GPU usage is going to come down at the lower resolution. There's times it's going to go up. Usually the more wattage we give this thing, the more GPU usage we get depending on where we're at because the game is fairly CPU heavy. Now that's not true for every area of the game, but for a lot of it. At 25 watts, we do see a nice little bump in performance sitting still here. And then we'll go ahead and take a look at 30 watts as well. And for uh, those of you plugging in or whatever, again, I play most of my gaming on the ROG Ally handheld at 25 watts. I like the performance. I'm always playing handheld. And that's what a lot of this video will wind up being. But I did want to show the different comparisons here. And ultimately, I think the game is running great. 900p is a pretty decent sweet spot um 720p is certainly going to give you the best performance so let's take a look at some new atlantis here as you get to alpha centauri and of course this place can be very difficult to run it was crushing on the steam deck because of the amount of cpu this area needs at 15 watts you can see at 720 900 and 1080 what we're looking at in 1080 definitely suffers uh, 15 watts at 720p maybe you would get away with this in this game but it'll certainly dip we go to 20 watts and you'll see 35 33 31 or so there on our fps and uh, that would hold much better again you'll see uh, just better performance the more wattage we're able to give uh, this APU. We bump up to 25, and now you see like 39 at 720, 33 at 900, and 30 at 1080. So depending on if you're really wanting to push for the visual fidelity, if you're wanting the clarity of the, the picture, better resolution, and you're okay with the lower frame rate, 900p is a great sweet spot. 1080p will work in some areas. Um, even at that 80% render scale though, everything will, will suffer a little bit. Now you can see here at 30 watts, things really do pump up and you see great CPU or GPU usage over on the 720p side because it just runs better that way. Now as we take a stroll through uh, New Atlantis here, you'll see we get a varying frame rate and you can see how 1080p will dip some. Still runs better at 25 watts, 1080 with 80% scale than Steam Deck did at the 15. Uh, for its 720 or 800p but it still is going to dip 720p obviously is holding us well above 30. if you want to go for a 30 lock in this game that's probably the resolution and type of settings you would have to go for um, but ultimately performance here for all of this is pretty decent for this area a little bit better than i expected of course we are pushing 25 watts there i do want to make a side note like i did in the steam deck video that character models in this game are hit or miss but main character models look pretty good and with all the upscaling and fsr and everything when you're up close and in these rendered scenes 
the hair, the faces and stuff like that. They don't have a lot of shimmer. They look nice. They look clean. And uh, for the most part, it helps keep the storytelling nice in here, even with low settings and all of the upscaling. So I just wanted to mention that. Now, combat is going to vary whether you're inside or outside, right? When we're inside buildings and games, especially this one, our frame times are better. We have a higher frame rate and it certainly feels better to play even at 1080p here with those settings at 25 watts things run very nice but of course we are inside and that's to be expected if we go ahead and change things over from here and try our 900p inside 25 watts we certainly will get better performance than 1080 this is a different area but there's also more going on here and it's still held fantastic frame rate a lot of times we were able to go up into the 40s with this at 25 watts if you drop down to 20 you won't quite get that high but you can still maintain 35 uh, to 40 in an interior area like this now if we go over to 720p we actually can reach that 60 fps uh, area of course this is with the 80 percent render scale if you go full 720 without that 100 percent render it gets closer to like the 900p performance and does drop down but uh this works really well here and uh, definitely a higher frame rate when you're indoors but again that's only when you're inside different buildings and space stations and things like that that you'll be able to get that higher frame rate once we go outside all the resolutions do take a hit so 1080p is going to take a hit as we come out here and a lot more is rendering and and happening and the ally will struggle more even at 25 watts here and if we switch over to 900p it really doesn't gain a lot we're still going to be hitting the, the 20s in here even at 25 watts um, all those same settings it just performance really will vary depending on where you're at in the game but it did hold pretty decently it's a very playable experience here now 720p surprisingly didn't even gain me as much as i thought here basically same kind of fps it was just a difficult area this is just how this spot wanted to run it does bump up just a little bit here and there, but again, it depends on where you're at in the game. The same area up here with the ship at 1080p definitely gets us down into the low 20s at these particular settings, which tells me other combat areas in the game are likely to do the same thing. Even at 900p when we come up here, it's really not that much better. We still come down into the 20s and it kind of depends on what's going on, but again, it stays playable. It's not like super stuttery or giving me a lot of problems. But we're not quite holding the 30 that a lot of people might want to and as far as going to 720p we do get a little bit of a gain up here a little more than we did at the other area it's not a lot but we do see a little bit better performance so again it depends on if you're going for that visual clarity or that fps here i spent a little bit of time going around to some different planets just like over on the steam deck and taking a look at performance and ultimately things were fairly consistent it is going to vary and there are procedurally generated things and some of the game is more cpu limited and there are areas that can be more gpu limited but all in all i think you can find a pretty sweet spot when it comes to your resolution and your wattage and the way that you want to be able to run starfield here we certainly have a lot more tinkering and playing around with that we can do versus over on the steam deck where i'm kind of locked into only a couple of options and there's not a lot of room to play unfortunately but over here on the rog ally there is a little bit more room to play and we are able to get a little bit more performance and i can certainly enjoy uh, Starfield a little bit more even if I'm playing 720p at that 80% resolution scale on the smaller ally screen it still looks fantastic um, no no issues there the IPS 1080p screen still looks great at 720 900 or at 1080 it all looks great and out in space during combat whether you're at 1080p or 900p or 720p which we'll take a look at here performance is pretty good as well it's not Quite as good as what you might get inside some of the buildings or space stations but it's pretty decent kind of to be expected there are areas though around busy planets that the fps does come down maybe even a little bit more than this but you can see performance here is still pretty good 900p is actually a pretty sweet spot when it comes to the space combat and overall in the game if you're going to run like 18 or 20 watts and above the 900p will work pretty well but again if you want the most frame rate the 720p as you can see here even out in space pushing those 50s um, so it does pretty well with performance so again you can see through the video with the different resolutions and wattages here on the ally whether it be handheld or plugged in you really do have a lot of option as to how you want to run starfield on here and get the most out of the game but guys i think i'll leave it there this video should have given you a decent idea of how starfield will run on your rog ally and what you might want to do with the different settings for wattage and resolution we'll get some patches we'll get some things in the future and we'll take a new look at this down the road but this should be a good start to get us all going all right guys thanks a lot for coming to check out the video as always i really appreciate it and i'll see you in the next one